We've got two public hearings. We have a public hearing tonight, one public hearing tonight. Um, and if there's anybody who uh, needs to fill out a uh, card for that, we've got a card. I don't see anybody else. Okay. Um, okay. So um, next up is the uh, is community communications on the consent agenda, and Miss Kimberly Elmont from the center. <clears throat> Yes, thank you. My name is Kimberly Goheen Elman, life citizen of Clark County, Washington. I was born here in Vancouver. I also, at age 18, I'm going to introduce myself. At age 18, I took an oath to protect America from foreign and domestic enemies, and I consider this council a domestic enemy. Uh, the reason would be is that I found out about three years ago. Uh, and have been participating in these council meetings, that they are United Nations members. It's called the ICLEI, International Council for Local Environmental Ish Initiatives. Over 400 cities, including Portland, Seattle, Olympia, Eugene, Bellingham, everywhere, 400 cities and thousands around the world are on this agenda. And if you're waking up right now to the nightmare, that's what this is. They want a one world order and they want to depopulate. I'm not doing very well today because it's a very emotional day for me. For the transportation, uh, this council, of which if you'll read up about them, they are a democracy and citizen rule. I consider that a lie. We are a republic that uses democracy. And citizens here do not rule. And that's what I'm here to do, wake up citizens to this tyrannical government. It's a local government. We need to do a grassroots. Um, so on, on the agenda, it says transportation system plan. I don't know if anybody knows this, but they are going to put light rail. And most of these people here probably want it. I think most of you here now um, actually serve the city or are affiliated with it using my hard-earned tax dollars. And I resent that also. This council has, a, uh, has an obligation to the Constitution, but when you follow the United Nations, if you know anything about our history, they do not. They do not follow the Constitution and are using our hard-earned tax money to bring about that light rail. And um, they had a community forum here. They have it every three months. That only started here about a year ago because of their socialist and Marxist plan, they now have you get to go every uh, three months to a round table, and that's supposed to be your community forum. Uh, up to a year ago, we had public community forum here at least once a month, and they put that, uh, they took it away. And in their writings here, they took it away for reasons of their own, not for facts. They say that people were going to their houses and um, causing trouble and they wanted to have safety for people. Well, wouldn't a Marxist uh, government say that? Wouldn't they put people down like me that speak up? On October 24th of last year, at the last 10 minutes of their Vancouver City Council meeting, they had a police officer escort Thank me you, out. Thank you, Ms. Elbon. Appreciate your coming to visit us this evening. Your three minutes is up. Thank you. And. Uh, this amazing thing happened when we started doing community forums. We like more than tripled, quadrupled, five times the number of people have been participating. So um, the community is getting many more opportunities to uh, interact with its council. Um, and I, I Ms. Elbon, I appreciate you coming. Um, when I was a child, um, my father, preach the same things that you did, exact same things. I was reading about them in a publication called The Spotlight Magazine by the time I was eight. One of the first things I read, learned to read. Um, if you talk to my half-siblings who are 20-some years older than me, my father was saying the same things then. And yet, in those intervening years, 
population in the world has increased. Property rights have not gone away. Um, but what you do when you come is you re-traumatize me and the hurt that my father placed upon me, my siblings. I was able to move on from that, stop hating the world, stop hating people. Um, but every time you come, you do re-traumatize me. Damn! Thank you. Um, it is time to... Miss Elbon, your time is done. It is time now for the...